How's everybody doing? My name's Mike, and we got Miss Milkshake with us today. She is a uh, she's about five six months old, and uh, she is a Pomeranian. So uh, I got her yesterday. So what we're going over today is we're uh, just introducing her uh, to a training collar, and uh, just getting her to understand that I want her uh, to follow pressure. So we're introducing her to pressure and uh, what that is going to mean for her for training, meaning we want her to listen uh, to the pressure. Now this is just an attention exercise where I just kind of go back and forth and let the dog start to figure out how to keep this leash loose and uh, just get her to start following me. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Come here girl. Good girl. Good girl. So she's already doing it. She's already not needing pressure. Good girl. Good girl. Good job, girl. Good girl. So that right there, I give her a little, just a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Just a little bit of pressure when I turn there. Good. So she's definitely following me. She's definitely following. Good girl. Good girl, good job. So when I'm telling her good girl, I'm rewarding her for making that move towards me. As soon as she comes towards me, I'm telling her good girl. Or follows, good girl. So just a little correction, just a good girl. So even though I make the correction, when she comes towards me, I give her that praise. So like right here, good girl. So again, good girl. Good job, good girl. So I can tell by the way she's moving, uh, she'll be able to heal pretty good. Sit. Good girl. Good job, girl. Heal. Good girl. Heal. So right now I'm just putting her in heel just to kind of see what she's going to do. Sit. Good girl. Heal. Remember, the whole point is to keep the leash, sit, is to keep the leash loose. The whole point of teaching her the pressure exercise is for her to understand. I want the leash like this. If you feel any kind of pressure, that means come towards me. As you see, the dog's already coming towards us, which is a great, that's a great thing. It, may, it means it's only going to be easier to train this dog, and she's only going to, she'll go farther in training now that I don't have to teach her, hey, you know, follow me because she's already kind of doing that, like you see. So look at that, good girl. But even though she's following me, good girl. Even though she's following me, it's important that I am rewarding her. We're always either encouraging or discouraging the dog. So when she's doing something like that, that I want, I'm always, hey. So right there, you saw me discourage her. She was actually licking the leash. So we, we, uh, we used just a tug on the leash to discourage her from that. But when she's coming towards me, I want to encourage that. I'm saying good girl and positively reinforcing uh, the moves that she's making. Heel. And then I'm just kind of seeing how she's going to do. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. What you're seeing is uh, more of a submissive dog, you know. So she's a little more submissive than probably the average dog I would normally get. Heel. Good girl. So she tries to get in front of me, I'm just gonna just lift up just a little bit on that leash. Heel. She's so small, she doesn't need hardly any any pressure. Heel. Good girl. So if I go this way, I want her to follow that leash. There you go. There it is. Good girl. Good girl. just right there how she took a wide turn I gave her just a little tug just to just to steer her uh, where I want her to go so yeah she's very good with the attention exercise and uh, she has the instinct to follow the human which that's a that's a very good thing and uh, you know it's important to, to start at the beginning with the dog even if she kind of has it it's important for me to introduce uh, the training collar and her uh, into training and pressure the proper way so that uh, you know she's not getting caught off guard or anything like that and that 
you know, the first days, we're very uh, gentle with them and we show them what we want before we start telling them not to do things. Uh, we try to teach them uh, what, we, what we want. This session is meant to teach her, hey, I like it when you stay close to me. You get rewarded for staying close to me. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. So again, I want her to follow that leash. Good girl. Again, I want her to follow the leash. That a girl. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Sit. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. All right. So that's it for her. Really, her first session. And like I said, this kind of gives me a feel where the dog's at. For me, I can tell this dog is a little, it's gonna be a little easier for me than my normal dog because she's already starting to follow me, which is, uh, which is a very good thing. That's how we teach them to heal. Uh, sometimes with a smaller dog, it can be easier, it can be harder. I mean, size really doesn't matter. It's all about the temperament. The breed doesn't matter. What matters is, is this a high energy dog? Is it a low energy dog? Each breed has, uh, you can have every type of dog in, in each breed, if you get what I'm saying. You could have a dog that's going to be a pain in the butt, or you could have a really good dog that's just going to lay around and do nothing and not, not cause any issues. But that is in every breed is capable of that. So no matter their size, uh, they can be difficult to train, meaning they can uh, try to, uh, you know, not comply over and over again. And it, it really just depends on the temperament of the dog.